Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some DC news, which, you know, has been typical uh, to happen every day or two for the past week. And I'll probably do a video uh, tomorrow uh, or the next day uh, talking about how uh, it's all to cover up the Snyder Cut and, uh, you know, everything that's come out because of that. Uh, but that's not the topic of today's video. The topic of today's video is Black Adam, which has finally gotten a new release date. So, a little bit of history on Black Adam for those who don't know. Dwayne Johnson was initially cast as Black Adam, who was going to be the villain in Shazam 1, uh, but then they decided to uh, really milk the whole Black Adam thing and uh, uh, change the direction of the character, switch it so that the villain of Shazam was Dr. Savannah instead, uh, and then basically they decided Okay, we're gonna have Black Adam appear as the villain of Suicide Squad 2, though that never ended up happening. Uh, I think I did a video on that a while ago. Maybe you, if you want to check it out, you can. Uh, and then uh, he would have uh, appeared in his own solo movie, and maybe the solo movie would have gotten a sequel, or will get a sequel. And then he's going to be the villain in Shazam 3, basically. That's the plan. Uh, and uh, a while ago, I want to say back in 2018, 2019-ish, uh, we got the release date of Black Adam, which was sometime in December of this year. But last year, because of COVID, they ended up switching around the dates for a lot of their movies. And in that, Black Adam uh, fell off the release schedule. Uh, so it was kind of in this weird limbo where it's like, yeah, Black Adam's happening. I mean, it has a director, it has a large cast, uh, it's in pre-production, it's supposed to shoot sometime this year, and yet it doesn't have a release date. That's weird. And now today, Dwayne Johnson hinted on Instagram that he, an announcement was incoming, and we, uh, and a lot of people guessed that it was going to be the new release date, and it is, which is, I'm not going to read around the bush anymore, uh, it is July uh, 29th of next year, which is great. I think that that's kind of what I anticipated, you know, I'm, it, it's not exactly a shot in the dark to say that it's a good summer movie because it's, you know, Egypt, uh, or at least part of it's in Egypt. We'll see. Uh, but um, also, on the other hand, uh, DC Films' slate for 2022 is The Batman releases in March, The Flash releases in November, and Aquaman 2 releases in December. So, because of that, there's a huge gap in the middle, and so it makes sense for Black Adam to come out. I was always saying it was probably going to come out sometime in the summer, and this fits right in with that coming out in late July. It also means, I believe, there isn't a, uh, an MCU movie to compete with it, uh, because uh, right now, uh, in the MCU, the, uh, the closest one to that is Black Panther 2, which I think is coming out in uh, May or June. I want to say June. Uh, and then after that, there's an October movie and then Captain Marvel 2, which is November. I think the October movie is either going to be Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania or Blade. Uh, because there, just yesterday or the day before, uh, some listing from like a theater said that Ant-Man and the Wasp was coming out. Uh, they actually gave a release date in February of 2023. Who knows if that's legit or not? It, it has some backing to it, so we'll see. I'm not going to say it's for sure yet. But anyway, either way, there's nothing coming out from the MCU in July of next year. Uh, and so because of that, this is a great spot for it. Uh, I think DC Super Pets, or I think, I think it's League of Super Pets now, um, was coming out uh, in May or June, uh, maybe July, but I think it's June of next year as well. But obviously that's not a DC Films movie, that's uh, a Warner Animation Group. Uh, but yeah, this is really exciting. What are you looking forward to most in Black Adam? Are you looking forward to Black Adam himself, Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Do you want to see the Justice Society of America, which now we have the full cast of... Uh, let, let's see if I can remember all of them off the top of my head. Uh, most recently, they announced Pierce Brosnan as Dr. Fate. There was Quintessa Swindell as Cyclone. Uh, there was um, Noah Centineo, who's been revealed for a long time now to be uh, Adam Smasher, and then Aldous Hodge, who is Hawkman. So, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. There are a few other cast members as well, uh, mostly for uh, unannounced roles. Uh, but yeah, what are you excited for? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos on the franchises you love, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.